We've been here since uh, 1969, same location, same place, same location since day one. We've got 52 years here now, going on 53. We opened it, uh, my grandfather opened it with my father and they, they had a few business partners as well. They were all immigrants that, you know, were pursuing the, uh, the, their version of the American dream, which is, you know, only coming to America and starting your own business. Our kitchen runs 24 seven, donuts 24 seven, and our operation is open always, closed number, seven days a week. We used to have a food truck. So we had the food truck during a football game. Life was, it was difficult. Like we were pumping out probably up to 4,000 donuts. And um, in the world of donuts, 4,000 is not a lot, but when you're hand cutting them, everything's made by hand. We use like traditional, like old school hand cut donut methods. Like everything's cut by hand and finished by hand, ice, powder, filled, covered by hand. So it's, it's, it's a lot, it's labor intensive. Our donut baker has been here 45 years. Yanni, he's from Greece. He's 80 years old, he turned 80 three days ago. I mean, this is, he worked with my grandfather. He worked with my father. He's working with me at the rate he's going. My, my kid's gonna be back there with him. I mean, you can't find this type of thing. Three generations, almost four generations working together. This is crazy, you know, but it's, uh, it's, 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 it's my passion, I, I love it, you know. Some days it's hard. Some days I don't want to do it. Some days that, you know, you wake up and it's like, oh man, I'm tired. You know, football games are exhausting. Friday, Saturday, Sundays are very busy, um, but we still, you know, we get going and we get in here and start doing it and all our pains go away. It all goes away. Once it starts going, forget about everything. All your troubles go away. We're always open. It's been part of our shtick and it's part of our persona to always be here for the public 24 hours a day. People need something, you know, late night. It's three in the morning, it's four in the morning. You're, you've got the munchies or you need a cup of coffee or you know, it's 11 p.m. at night and you don't have a lot of food in your fridge and you're a college student and you, you need to pull an all nighter. You need some sugar, you need some donuts, you need some caffeine to fuel you through the night. So uh, the night part of our business has always been a part of our identity. Being open late night is kind of one of the things we're famous for. Nobody was looking for employment during COVID. We had nine months where nobody, hardly anybody applied. So we had nine months of like nobody coming in the door asking for a job. And during those nine months, you know, you lose people, people graduate, people move on. So our staff kept dwindling to the point of where like, we were in the danger, a danger, uh, dangerous situation of not being able to, to operate. Or like there was a couple nights we, we almost had to close the kitchen down. And two employees, we had four employees scheduled one night, right? This was pretty recent. Out of the four employees, two of them were here. Out of the four, and those two worked their butts off to keep the place open. Please. To some people, it's more than just a, a, a donut changed. shop. You know, it's a tradition for a lot of folks. A lot of alumni, especially, delivery. you know, they'll, they'll come here once a year. Even though they're not donut fans, they'll just come here just to come here. You know, to come to Bucket Oats, they'll take photos and, and they'll tell us, oh, we used to come in here when we were in college. You know, late at night, we'd come in. Or, a lot of times we'll get stories. Oh, I met my wife here. Or I met my husband there. Like we hear those, we get those all the time. Like we have couples that come in here um, and try to sit in the same stools that they met when they first met here. But we've had multiple stories where people have shared that, that they met their significant other in the donut shop. And I just, I, I, you know, I love that.